Bro, no, and when you're lean, get him into that, bro. Don't even I'm get telling you, bro, time. being how lean you are is more like dangerous for you than being on a little bit of test. Bro. So this banter is funny, you know. <laughs> the other trench is like, don't, don't get him into that while he's like trying to convince him. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907.com. Keep on code Russo. Young LA keep on code Russo and the Intelligent Elephant Spritz of Carbon. Check it all out. Description below for the full source list. Today, I am going to be reacting by popular demand to the Trend Twins who were featured on Alex Eubanks' channel. Now, I have made fun of Alex Eubank in the past because, well, he claims to be the realist caught photoshopping his pics, exposed by another influencer over the photoshopping instead of owning up. There might have been black hat, you know, social media hackers being paid to take people out to silence that. But we're going to move past that because I want to see the Trend Twins in action. I was with Jack West recently and he wrote me about the Trend Twins. So I wanted to give them a gander. And Andrew and I have just checked out their YouTube channel and they have popped off rapidly and they seem to be real and on their way to OG status. So I'm going to be reacting to them convincing Alex apparently to go on gear and give my thoughts on how I was back at their age versus how I am now. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I mean, if I could pin my calves and make them bigger, I'd do it. Bro, I would inject synthol right into my calves. So, Andrew, I know dudes who have injected synthol into their calves, and the pain scale is like a level 10. So, anyone in the comments who wants to do that, I've seen it happen and one do it. Right into my fucking. You're just training so hard, blood's coming out of random ass spots. Ran anywhere to come out of. Blood. Yeah. That's how good my pump. I'm doubling this. <laughs> if I lose my hair, if I lose my hair, I'm hopping off. Like I'm getting any. I'm gonna become more place, more dates, and do anything I can to get my hair. Hair transplant, anything. So they go into the gear talk, and he's already talking about his hair. That if his hair starts to go, he's gonna become Derek. More plates, more dates, and he's gonna do everything he can to save his hair. So the true king, in my opinion is the king of Macedonia on saving his hair. All of Andrew threw up Alex hair. So basically him messing around with anything DHT in general is going to, again, accelerate hair loss faster than it would occur if, you know, there wasn't this super physiological amount of DHT conversion going on. But right now at his age, he has DHT hair resistant follicles, meaning he's getting away with these crazy cycles right now, but his hairline will be attacked later in his mid twenties. So he has some time to think about how he wants to approach his long-term cycle goals, AKA keep DHT super low. For example, my hair was very resilient back then at his age, and it is no longer resilient. I've taken some hair damage over the past three years, and Derek and Alec have chirped me on going on to detasteride and doing, you know, full protocol on hair maintenance and recovery, to which I always knew I was sacrificing hair, messing around with all those crazy ass compounds. I think S23, RAD, any DHT in general, including YK11. You're gonna go to your hair catcher after the shower and you're gonna see the price you're paying for those temp gains the more meathead one of us and i'm like the more like you want like, some more balance or? yeah yeah balance. i want to be like the better better looking one i want to keep my hair motherfucker. that's all awesome. i'm yeah who is better at football when y'all play mikey bro mikey's just a so if he wants to keep his hair, I hope he gets into, again, DECA, NPP, keeping the dihydrotestosterone as low as possible. Because a lot of guys, yeah, they're cool with the muscles until their hair starts falling out. And like, Andrew, it's always like, would you rather have a bunch of zits or your hair fall out? I'm team zits. I'm team zits. I'm not team hair fallout. So that's normally the two side effects. And some people get both, but normally it's like one or the other. Lean into the zits. Meathead, like, he just, like, he's just always been anabolic. He's looked like this since the age of, like, no, 17, bro. All right, so 
these guys are kind of influencing influencing me to hop on gear. I'm not gonna lie. Without big bro. You can do it safely, bro. Like just get the bare minimum and still become like if you take the, a good amount of tests, like you can you could be healthier. Like, bro, no, and when you're lean, don't get him into that, bro. Don't even I'm get telling you, bro, test. being how lean you are is more like dangerous for you than being on a little bit of test. Bro. So this banter is funny, you know. The other trench is like, don't don't get him into that while he's like trying to convince him. Not taking it at like super hardcore face value, obviously analyzing here, but there's no safe way. Once you join the dark side, you accept all the risk of the dark side, right? You can't be teeter tottering you know once you start messing with the hpta you're going to have to deal with cascading side effects involving adding in exogenous androgens or changing feedback loops right the body is very in tune with all these precursors and all these things that keep the levels under control the minute you have more estrogen conversion well that's gonna cause your body to want to stop making natural testosterone because it wants to choke that out like all that starts to come into effect rapidly even on 165 milligrams HRT, right? So you're going to, again, accept a risk when you jump to the dark side. That being said, when we look at Alex Eubank, right? He is, to my knowledge, natty, half natty. I don't know. I don't follow him in the bathroom, but he has, again, modified his pictures to keep up with guys like the Trend Twins, whereas the Trend Twins are just open about the abuse they're doing to themselves and they're being truthful and transparent it's like in my mind that's like the argument which is worse like claiming natty and then photoshopping pictures and adding size on the pictures like if i would have andrew like add like caps on my shoulders or fix my insertions you know a really good photoshop lightroom guy could again tweak a photo so far i'll actually throw up a photo i saw of the one guy that apparently was the next C-bomb and then how he looked at his show. I'm just saying like that social media game, Alex isn't the only one playing the modifying the pictures game. He just got caught. If that's all because he feels like in his head, he doesn't look like the enhanced athletes like the Trend Twins, you either have to come to fruition and just realize that, you know, naturally you're going to look different than someone on like five times the amount of androgens like the Trend Twins. Or when we look at Alex, Alex Eubanks blood work doesn't look too good as far as like him maintaining that ultra lean lifestyle to which the one of the trend twins I don't know their names I'd really like to be introduced formally to these guys but like one of the trend twins is basically saying like when you were super shredded naturally your, your blood work was shit to a point where it's like what is a little bit of testosterone if your biomarkers are constantly fucked from you maintaining the fitness model look all year being depleted all year being stressed all year year not being in the optimal environment to make natural testosterone to which that argument does hold some sort of ground however it's like with alex fans which i think he'll get into he's already climbed the ladder alex is at the top i'm not player hating he's at the top so his following is definitely cemented in my mind why would he jump to the dark side when again sure he used the photoshopping but you know it seems like to me he's moved on in his his honesty as far as showcasing what he looks like without a pump with a pump and he's moving in that direction again towards not modifying body image now bodybuilding is all about body image so i just wanted to paint both sides of the argument and see where you fall like if you're alex do you max out your internal goals as far as physique because there's a lot on the table if he enhances or does he maintain the supposed integrity that got him to the top of being you know an honest natural influencer so you can see the battle going in his head when he's exposed to the trend twins mogging him with their antics I think my following you could take from I think my following would crucify me yeah. you look like I, honestly you look amazing bro I'm like, like say it, I appreciate it. Yeah, like you look amazing. I, like if you're the only thing is like, oh, I don't have a pump or like I don't fill out. Yeah. When I don't have a pump or whatever, like that doesn't even matter. The only thing that matters is when you're under lighting and have that fucking camera. Yeah, yeah. It's just like the potential. I always wonder, like, oh, what if? Like, what? What would I look like? <laughs> so you start pinning. Like I started pinning. See, immediately seeing like the gains, and I just want you just want more. Okay. So you start yeah, taking a little bit more and kind of like start seeing a little bit of side effects. 
Like Trend twins are super honest, right? They said, you know, they said, fuck it. From, again, my little limited research of the tw Trend twins is that they were the top jocks in high school and they were moving big ass weight and they were going to be in the weight room for the rest of their lives for them. It's like going to the bar every single day and not drinking. At some point, if you're going to end up in the bar, if you're going to end up in the gym and your whole life revolves around this and you again see a feasible way to make earn a living which if you guys hate it or not that is modern day clout you know the trend twins for sure have established a platform that they can scale to the moon based on their current channel how it's in its infancy and how many people love them for their honesty that they're showcasing but it's a slippery slope right they are getting away with these types of cycles now sure they could do it forever but it's like these side effects stack over the course of again 10 to 15 years so you have to take into consideration how hard you're gunning and that's why i say it's a marathon not a sprint but you can see that they are already giving Alex the honest opinion of like, once you fall down the rabbit hole, go to the dark side, you're going to run into that thing where you're pushing the dosages, pushing the limits to again, see how your body responds because it's very addictive when you look in the mirror and you see such a vicious change. And if you again, have the proper education of what you're doing to your health, you realize that it's temporary and you need to get something out of this journey as far as being enhanced. But at the beginning, you know, you kind of think you're bulletproof when and you're not me included right i've done tons of blasts where i pull my bloods after and i'm like yeah couldn't be doing that in my late 30s I've only been out for a month but like i could tell like when i added a look like not knowing like adding a little more like now my estrogen's all fucked up my hair is shedding because like estrogen causes like gyno your hair to fall out. estrogen does cause gyno dht causes hair shedding so it's half right. It's not worth that. I just I don't know. It's not. It's not. What would you do if you lost your hair, buddy? <laughs> yeah. What? If I lost my hair. We're just like, easy. What, is, what is your experience with uh, with tests right now? One through ten. What would you rate it? I'd say up until the last week. Up until the last couple weeks, bro, I got fucking sick. Or I fucked my chest up, and then I got sick. So that shit's been. Helped. I'd say it's been a ten out of ten. This squat, not including the last week of high estrogen. What about you? This has come from eight years, eight years experience natty lifting. The last we benched had like four, four or five for reps before ever hopping on. This is like years of power lifting and experience like hopping on. It'll be that Rich Piana connoisseur, you know. Oh no. Died double wide in a double wide cast, you know what I'm saying? Jack, that's how I want people to remember me. So I don't really care. I want to live to like 90. I'm trying to have like a light. I want to go. We have the Trend twin saying he wants to die in the double wide casket like Rich Piana. Rest in peace to the goat. And then we have Alex on the other side saying he wants to live to 90. In my opinion, it's a quality versus quantity of life argument. This is always where it comes to a cross is quality versus quantity of life and how you judge the quality of life so if the trend twins want to get big as shit and that's their true end term goal is to die young in a massive casket but they are the biggest sidewalk cracking motherfucker to exist currently again that's their goal and i don't judge another man's aspirations i don't go up to a race car driver and be like bro one wreck and you're done like i don't if you want to chase that fire go for it right it's up to you to accept that you're gonna get burnt but at the same time it's like alex is also painting the picture of longevity and health span where in reality if again if we look at like the more top tier biohackers like mpmd he's again painting health span in the sense of you really have to be on top of your biomarkers and modulate your biomarkers for longevity and if you need a little bit of hormone replacement to maintain homeostasis of the body then that's probably the most optimal way to get in the middle of their two paths that they have so chose right now so there is a way to do health span enhancement but it's not flattering and you won't be able to have a super juiced up gorilla physique like the trend twins but they're young and i really honestly respect the fuck out of their vicious honesty in this vlog you can tell there's no bullshitting on their thoughts at all and they're just being straightforward with how they feel and their personality and saying that they got addicted to the gear and you know they had the side effects they did not paint sunshine and rainbows and i highly respect that they did not just like oh just like up the dose and you'll be fine like none of that bullshit that i was dealing with on tiktok last year these guys are very open and honest and like i 
said they put in the work naturally as the dudes in the weight room in high school 24 7 it seems like so where to you draw the line on this type of content coming from the younger fitness influencers because i feel like this is a pretty base discussion in the sense of alex is painting the longevity game of health and fitness or the trend twins are painting the extremism of bodybuilding why so many people are into bodybuilding the extremism again trickles down into regular health and fitness from people pushing the limits and we find breakthroughs when we push the limits so to say that all the extreme bodybuilders didn't really benefit the general people it's like where do we get protein powder from where do we get creatine powder from where do we get all these other things from bodybuilding gurus or bodybuilders pushing the limits and finding harm mitigation on the damage that they're doing which again trickles down to the cross of where mpmd vigorous steve and again alec is a bit more extreme but alec obviously we all come to the cross of health span you can do the fun and games of bodybuilding you just gotta know the damage you're doing yourself and accept it and not promote it in such a way which i don't think they did at all but promote it in such a way where it's like all right you're not really painting the you know doom and gloom that could come with walking down this road and it's awesome seeing them being that transparent. I find it always a quantity versus quality of life. I'm trying to like, 90. Don't touch it, that's I want to get to 90, yo. I want to get to 90. That's like my goal in life. Honestly, uh, uh. honestly, after this cycle, I'll probably, I, this is what I want to no, do. No, I want to get my IVB Pro card and then I'll probably. Yeah, I want my IVB Pro card, which I could run for in like, I'm one probably like cycle trend and fucking. A I got a trend at least one. H I'm excited about my video hopping up here. Are they, uh, they convinced me or something? We, did it. we done did that 10 times. I know, I know. All right, my conclusions are the Trent Twins seem like some real ones. I am excited to see their progression. As far as them getting blood work, I think Alex has them get blood work. I'd like to see what their blood work looks like at that age. As far as them wanting to, again, push it farther for the IFBB Pro card. But I, I really like the honesty, the blunt honesty. It's really good to see that, again, there's no sugar coating going on. There's a lot of talk about all the bad shit that happened. But at the end of the day people are gonna do what they want to do at the end of the day if you go to the bar every single day after day after day after day and you never drink alcohol again why are you going to the bar if i was going to the bar and i don't drink alcohol at all and kept going and going and going the ploy to drink alcohol the ploy to go to that dark side is going to be there people are going to cross it same fucking thing with the gym same thing especially when it increases performance it increases vigor drive all these things that are being attacked as far as masculinity is concerned with the foods with the social programming all this stuff the tribalism that is happening on the tribalism that is happening online will only get worse as time goes on so it's very important that the truthful honest blunt information is out there and it's awesome to see the trend twins speaking on alex's platform in an open manner but not an irresponsible manner I'll see you guys in my next video.